Okay, so I already started with putting on my primer beforehand, and that's how really it is. And then I'm going to go in with my eyebrows. This is an Anastasia Dip Brow in the color Pomade, and I'm going to link down below the video for my primers that I love using, so you all can watch that. Further following with um, my eyebrow spoolie, I just brush it out, and then I just continue with doing that and then I have my LA Girl Pro Conceal just to clean up around my eyebrows and then I'm just gonna do one eyebrow and then I'm gonna go off camera and do the other one so I, you guys basically understand <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with my damn beauty blender and then blend the concealer out underneath my eye following with an eyeshadow primer by Milani and I'm just gonna put that on blend it out wait and then set it with my Annabelle eyeshadow in the color white and then I'm just gonna pat that in with my beauty blender that's how it looks now and then I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow this is the L'Oreal palette number one in nude and then I'm just gonna put that on my crease and my brow bone color in a dark brown and a light brown they don't have names on the palette and then following with the blushes nude palette by L'Oreal and then I go in with the sparkly pink and I apply that onto my eyelid with a damp brush and this will help make your eyeshadow color come out and pop more and be more accentuated and then following with uh <laughs> that's how it looks following with the purple and then i'm just using a light purple that is not shimmery and i'm going to put that on my outer crease v and there you go that's how it's looking and then i'm just going to apply the pink again that's how it looks, side view. <laughs> All right, then I just went in with putting on my eyelashes and then I'm gonna go in with a white eyeliner pencil because I felt like I wanted to do that. And I'm gonna, uh, 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 I don't know why I'm doing that, but with my eyelashes, they were in Ardell 1055. There was a self-adhesive and that's how it looks, but I didn't like how the white looks, so I went in with the brown eyeliner just to like tone down the white eyeliner. And then there, it looks much better. Following with my Laura Mercier, oh my god, it's not Laura Mercier, it's Estee Lauder foundation. And I'm just applying that all over my face. If anyone's interested in watching that review that I done on the Estee Lauder foundation, which I totally like, I'm going to link that down below so you all can watch. I felt like I didn't t explain my eyelashes properly to you guys. I was like rushing. Okay, so with my eyelashes, they are Ardell, the style 1055, and they were self-adhesive, which is really cool. So I didn't have to apply any glue onto it. It's perfect. It works. It stays on. All right, so that's how it looks after my foundation. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to highlight, and I'm just using my LA Girl Pro Conceal again, and then I'm just going to highlight underneath my eyes. That's how it's looking. I put, like, a good amount, not too much. And then I do my forehead, my nose, upper lip, chin, blend that out with my beauty <laughs> blend that out with my beauty blender. Alright, and then I put foundation on my face by accident, so that's okay. I just blend that in a little bit more. Alright, I think we almost got it. Blend down a little bit. Almost there. All right, so my Laura Mercier powder, that's what we have now. And then I'm putting that to set my under eye concealer. And I like putting a lot. I don't know why. It just makes me feel good. You don't have to put a lot, though, especially if you're darker tone using this powder. Put a little bit. And a little bit goes a long way with this powder. And I'm just applying on my forehead, down my nose. So all the places I basically highlighted. Bye. All right, that's how it looks. I don't know why I'm acting like that. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in with finishing up with my eyes. So I use the LA L'Oreal Palette Nude. Oh my god, it's a blushes nude. I'm so all over the place with this. And I'm just putting that in my inner tear ducts. And then I'm going with the purple. And then I'm just tight lining underneath my eye just to bring the color down more. Make the look a little bit more glamorous because I'm trying to look cute. Alright, and then I'm just going to fix up my eyeshadow there. Alright, so I'm going in with my L'Oreal Telescopic Nude. I don't know why I'm smiling so much. And I'm just putting that underneath my eyes. I use only this eyeshadow for underneath my eye. And then I'm going in with my spoolie because it just uh, takes out the clumps if there is any. 
Or if you feel like your eyelashes are sticking together and it'll just brush it out. That's a little tip and trick for y'all to use. I think it actually works to separate your eyelashes more if they clump together. All right. So that's how it looks so far. All right. So I'm going to contour with my NARS foundation. I'm going to go on my cheekbones, my nose, and the sides of my head to conjoin with my forehead. All right, and then I'm gonna blend out with a damp beauty blender. Make sure everything's blended out correctly. Well, the way I like it at least. And then following my e.l.f. contour brush and using the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation Powder to set my contour. Blending it out with a beauty blender. Well, I actually switched the powder, I mean the brush, and used the beauty blender to apply the powder onto my face. And then I used the powder for like the smaller parts on my nose. And then I didn't have my brush, I took that brush to take off all my powder. Alright, <laughs> so that's how it looks for now. We're almost done. So I just went in with my black eyeliner and pencil to just put back on my beauty mark because it went away from all that foundation. And I just put it lightly on, not too dominant. And then I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I sprayed that in to set my makeup. And then I forgot to set my eyebrows, so I'm using this to set my eyebrows. And then I'm going in on with my lip. I'm moving so fast. Okay. And then this is actually an Annabelle eyebrow pencil. But I, it came out purple on my eyebrows for some reason, so I use it at, on my lips. And it's like the perfect nude. I don't know how it's purple on my eyebrows for some reason, but yeah. And I'm just using the eyebrow pencil for a lip liner. So that's another trick for anybody. And I just love how it looks. It looks so good. All right. There you go. And then following this Ramel London uh, liquid to matte lipstick. And I love this. I just love the dry on it. It's so matte and like sticky. And a lot of my friends were like, oh, I bought this. Do you know why it's so sticky? My lips are sticking together. I was laughing so hard because the reason why with the Ramel London uh, lipstick, you have to put the white part that's at the bottom, which I'm going to show you guys in a bit. I'm just going to fill in that, so that's how it looks so far. Okay, so the white bottom here, you just put a little bit of it on your lips, a little bit. If you put a lot, your lips are going to be glossy, and then that will not make your lips stick together. And there we have it. It's so nice. So I transformed from Cruft to cutie, and that's the look. I hope you guys like it. Now time for slow-mo.